Hi, this is Stacia, and today we're going to look at a training game that I played on Luchess.org. Um, so kind of like I'm trying to go for um, 1800 on Chess.com, I kind of am trying to go to 2000 on Luchess.org. And so this is a 10 minute, 5 second um, increment game that I played. And a very interesting one. Okay, so let's look at this. I had the white pieces and I opened with the move e4. My opponent played e5, knight f3 attacking the pawn, and my opponent played d6. So this does defend the pawn. This is called the Philidor defense. And the downside to this is that it does kind of block the dark square bishop. He might want to come out here, but now that's not really likely. Although I do find this opening sort of challenging to me sometimes. Okay, so here I played the move d4. It's the most logical. I'm threatening to take the e pawn. And bishop g4 was played. Now, this is the move that was played in the famous uh, Paul Morphy opera game against the Duke and the Count of Izzard. A game that I have memorized, actually. <laughs> so I was kind of happy to see this. And it's not supposed to be a good move. Um, so here I take the pawn and note that if black were to take back, I think this would be very good for white because we would trade queens and then there's no more pin. We can simply take the pawn. We're threatening check. We're threatening the bishop. This is pretty nice for white already. Just being up a pawn is good. So the best move here is to take the knight. This was played um, in the upper game as well. So I took back with a queen and then only then does he recapture on e5. So, okay, I figured I'll just follow the opera game because <laughs> that game turns out pretty good. So I played the move bishop c4, totally natural move and threatening checkmate. So he played knight f6, this blocks the checkmate. And now, just like Paul Morphy, I played the move queen to b3, which is a fork. So I'm forking f7 and b7. And um, in the opera game, they played the move queen e7, which I don't think is a good move. Yeah, the opera game goes like this, like queen e7. I think Paul Morphy played knight c3. Yeah not taking the pawn by the way and after c6 he plays here and then sacrifices a piece after b5 takes takes check knight here and he goes on to brilliantly win this game because after castles white only has one more piece to get into the attack and black's pieces don't look so good they're all jumbled up and pinned. So this is really good. And this is the opera game. But instead of queen to e7, my opponent played this move, which I've never seen, <laughs> queen to d4. So I guess the point is he's going to take and then checkmate me. I don't know. Or just take with check. Um, he's attacking the e-pawn. That much I know. But this does allow the capture on f7, which just seems really good for me, right? <laughs> so was, he played it so quickly, I was nervous. It was like opening prep or something, but let's see what the computer says. Uh, yeah, it says white's winning. <laughs> wow, it says don't take on, f2, on f7. Play bishop e3 is the best move. Okay, bishop e3, I thought he would take here. And then we play knight c3. Wow. This is a line I'm going to take note of. Queen takes c4, it says, is the best. So obviously, wait, is there some trick? I don't know. Isn't this just really bad? <laughs> yeah, it is really bad. So I guess after knight c3, 
I mean, this looks logical, but now it says we take on b7. Wow. Bishop d6 and take the rook? We don't even take the rook. We play queen. Okay. I must not understand chess at all because what kind of chess is this? Not taking on f7. Okay. So I do understand, though, that the computer wants to gain tempos and keep developing. So I get that. But I did take here. Turns out this is also a good move. <laughs> okay, I was going to say. It's just not the best move, surprisingly. Surprising everyone, especially me. Okay. But how do you not play bishop takes f7 check? Because we can follow it up with queen e6 check. This looks like a very annoying pair of visitors. Yeah, he played here. And again, the computer wants bishop e3. But I did go ahead and check. It just seems like, how do you not do this? The queen comes to d8. And I like the fact that now, if I could just play rook d1, maybe I'll win the queen, you know? So I thought this is all very good for white. Now, I had to decide how to continue. So you may want to pause your video here and decide how you would continue because, okay, white's winning, but what's the best way forward? I really want to know that. I'll tell you what I considered here. Um, I considered bishop to g5, pinning the knight because I'm threatening takes, takes, queen e8, checkmate. But I thought in response to bishop g5, he could play bishop d7, I thought. Or even check. Yeah, even check, actually. I was thinking about king f1 here, but do I really want to do this? So I actually didn't go for this, but I thought bishop d7 might be even better. Because he's now developing, and I'm not sure my bishop wants to be here anymore. And even if I castle, nothing is defending the rook on d1, so I still am not threatening that. So I actually ruled out bishop g5, and I decided, I also looked at knight c3. This develops a piece and defends. Computer says queen d7 is best here. I probably would not trade queens. And then he could play knight c6. And then I'd probably castle. Okay. Computer says that's also fine. But in the game, I played the move castles. So computer says this is best, which I'm happy to see. And I'm sacrificing my e-pawn, but, you know, clearly black needs to prioritize what they're doing. Knight c6, I think, was a good move. And then I followed up with knight c3. So my idea is rook d1, but yeah, in hindsight, this isn't so threatening, is it? Mm, it's kind of threatening. No, I do like it. Computer says bishop g5 is the best with that same threat as before. But I am wondering about this. Oh, this doesn't come with check anymore. <laughs> so I could actually play. Wow, it says um, <gasps> queen e8's checkmate. It's pinned right now. Wow, I'm not on my game, you guys. <laughs> Okay, so bishop g5 has a huge threat of checkmate. So bishop d7, I think, or e7, rather, would have to be played, and only then would play knight c3. Okay, that's what the computer likes. I played it instead, the move queen, or I'm sorry, I played knight c3, queen d6 was played, and then I did rook to d1, but here, I don't think rook d1 is like amazing because there is knight d4. There's no way to attack the pin knight, really. But I, I reasoned this was awkward enough for black. 
So I retreated. King there. Just trying to get out of these pins, I guess. Knight b5. And I actually do have to go, so I'm probably going to wrap this up. Queen here. I really don't want to trade queens. But on the other hand, I went ahead and played this move because I figured, you know, the ending actually is good for me. If you look at my development, all my pieces are now active. His knight may cause some trouble, but how is he going to survive with the king on f8 and the rooks not in the game whatsoever? Kind of like the opera game. So queen here, I allowed this. This actually improved my bishop in my opinion. Okay, he takes a pawn, so what? We attack. He took the knight, but now I think I just have a forced mate, and sure enough, bishop e6. He cannot block um, with the knight because I just take. And if here, I can actually play um, rook takes c7 now if I want. This seems reasonable. This is definitely winning. So he did not block. Um, instead, he went here immediately. But that just blunders mate in one. Rook to d8 is checkmate. So I'm kind of curious. The computer says mate in five here. So let's just quickly look at the best defense. I do like to look at that. Okay, so giving pieces up, I guess, is the best <laughs> check. You can actually do this. Okay, I didn't even think of that. Wow, yeah, we just take. Okay, yeah, I'm convinced. Okay, this is this is just mass murder at this point. And the game is going to be over. So, I hope you enjoyed this game. I definitely learned some stuff from the, um, the middle part of the game. Where, what was it? Yeah, after this, I think it's really interesting that bishop e3 is the best move. So I'm personally going to study that a little bit more. Hope you have a great day, and I'll be back with more chess. Bye.